year's head students. My name is Loda Rodriguez. And I'm Harry Dunn. Pageant High is a progressive school. After four years of experience surrounded by a sense of community, year group to year group, it is easy to see why. As a school, we strive to have a supporting and encouraging environment. Respect is highly valued here at the top of the agenda. Continually, students are supported and guided through their course of Pageant High. Our ability to adapt and learn has been tested. Our Pageant has possibly prepared and equipped us, building strong foundations for our future. This school gives students room to grow and develop as individuals, even outside the academic curriculum particularly within the musical field, as you've seen earlier. But not only this, but our new facility, Hatchman Thrives in the Sporting Department, inspires students to reach out and explore the many different opportunities. As a school, we have an extremely open-minded and inclusive culture, where everyone is welcomed and treated equally, creating a sense of security and safety within students. We pride ourselves in our sense of community, and show us you hosting many school events, such as the Turkey Run in December and the Sports Day to ignite the competitive spirits within students. Here at Patchen High School, we have an enthusiastic languages department, which always gets students to their fullest potential. There is a wide range of extracurricular music clubs, such as choir and big bands. Not only this, but there is also a large variety of sporting clubs, from swimming in our school pool, to dance, football, and many more. Before starting year seven, we felt intimidated and unsure about high school. The supportive, caring, and understanding staff made us feel immediately put at ease. Throughout our course of high school, we've had our form tutors guiding us through, helping and encouraging us. The moment we start in year seven, we are set up for success, all while feeling a great sense of belonging and unity, and for that we are truly thankful. We have inspiring, enthusiastic teachers who are on subjects fun and engaging. Overall, leading students in becoming exciting and wanting to learn. Here at Pouching, we have a wonderful English department, which opens students' minds to new and compelling literature also context and ideas surrounding the books, which helps them develop their own perspectives and ideals. Furthermore, our maths department emphasises the importance of working methodically and perseverance when challenged, giving students a sense of independence and self-confidence. Additionally, we have a rich science department which enhances and expands our understanding of the world around us. No one begins high school with a fully performed person, neither will I leave as one. Perhaps from high has definitely shaped me to the person I am today. We strongly held political, ethical and human rights beliefs, which I've been encouraged to explore and express. We're fortunate to have year group leaders stay with us throughout our school career. Mine has certainly supported me, encouraged me to try new ventures and urged me to my goals I thought were out of reach. Despite a deep dislike of PE in primary school, I've grown to pull up a wide variety of sports, thanks to the wide range of after school clubs that have become a long-term passion. When I began my time here at Passion, I'd just taken interest into rugby and now I'm playing at a level I could have never dreamed of. All thanks to the many opportunities the Patrick has provided to play, learn and develop. As well as that, from my former tutor, peers, teachers, they've all given me the motivation to continue when I felt I've hit an unmovable barrier at my playing level. Not only has this personal progression happened within sports, but also in academics, with many teachers investing themselves in helping me learn in a way that is best suited for me. I hope you once told us in year seven, when you go to Patrick High School, you create a legacy and that path you have complete control of. This speech here is a part of our legacy. We hope your children get to create one too, just as we have. Thank you for your time, best wishes in finding the right school for your child. ambition in lessons and outside of lessons. Staff share the aspirations for the students themselves 
and staff as well just want to be much better practitioners, so definitely aspiration. from the staff to the students. I also really enjoy participating in extra clubs after school such as rugby and football and I just think it's a really welcoming school in general. I'm proud to work at Patchum High School because of our inclusive culture that welcomes all students and tries to enable them to be the best that they can be. Being a student at Patchum High and have benefited from all the school has to offer. I've been at Patchum High for five years and it's made me much more confident. My favourite thing about Patchum High School is the great sense of community and belonging we have here. in Pacham High School because the students are very responsive and very well behaved. Um, I do really believe that the staff is really one team, one dream. I'm John McKee, I'm the head teacher at Patchum High School, I've been the head teacher for five years now. Uh, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about myself, because I thought it was important to you a little bit about me, uh, if you were to decide to send your child there, and what my values are, uh, and these are those. Um, I'm 100% committed to Patchum High School for our students, uh, and, and I really mean that, and I have been for more than five years in fact, because I, I've been here since 2007, so in the last five years I've been the head teacher. I'm also totally believe in inclusive education and comprehensive education. I have unshakable faith in the power of high quality education. I am very determined that all students, every single child who comes through our door, uh, achieves. And I will always put children first in any decisions that I make. So that is me in a nutshell. Um, I just wanted to um, share a joke actually before I went any further. I have got two jokes. You get one if your child goes here. Um, at the start when you arrive, and you get one now. Um, so, if you don't like this joke, then you don't get to hear the next one because I presume you won't send your child to Right, um, here we go. I'm going to read it from here. A millionaire decides to throw a huge party for his 50th birthday. During the party, he grabs a microphone and announces to his guest that down in the garden of his mansion, he has a swimming pool with two great white sharks in it. I will give anything they desire of mine to the man who swims across that pool. So the party continues with no events in the pool until suddenly there's a great splash and all the guests at the party run to the pool to see what's happened. 
In the pool is a man and he's swimming as hard as he can. And the fins come out of the water and the jaws are snapping and the guy just keeps on going and the sharks are gaining on him. And this guy reaches the end, gets out of the pool tired and soaked. The millionaire grabs the microphone and says, I'm a man, my word, anything of mine I will give. My Ferraris, my house, absolutely anything. For you are the bravest man I've ever seen. So sir, what would it be? The millionaire asks. The guy grabs the microphone and says, why don't we start with the person who's pushed me in the first place? <laughs> So, I, um, the reason I read you that is because there's three things from that. Firstly, okay, there's nothing lurking beneath the surface at Patrick High School. What you've seen tonight, um, and what you hear from me, is, is genuine and it's very honest. Um, and we are very upfront about absolutely everything that we have on offer at Patrick. Um, we're not going to attempt to push you into any decisions, uh, but we will be here to stand by and, and be supportive, and we won't watch you struggle uh, if you are. Um, still deciding on, on, on where it is that you want your child to go. And finally, if your child is, does decide to come to Patchen High School, I just wanted to assure you that there is much a, a longer journey and at the end of the journey for, for students to celebrate and you as parents and carers to celebrate. So, that was a couple of months ago. Um, I often get, e well, I get e e emails, particularly after the exam results from parents kind of part, wishing to pass on their appreciation and thanks to staff who've worked perhaps closely with, with their children. Um, and uh, I thought I'd share one with you, but actually I had a conversation with somebody um, only the other day and I thought it was better to, to use the expression that they used and what they, how they described Patchen was quite simply as a hidden gem. It was a school that they hadn't necessarily thought of as a, as, as a first choice for their child. It was a school that, um, you know, we're, we're quite a small school compared to other schools across the city. Uh, we don't necessarily shout as loudly as other schools, but um, she chose to send her child here and, and it was an absolute gem for them. So I'm hoping that uh, if you decide to send your child to Patchen High School that you will find that it is that hidden gem in and amongst everything in Brighton. And I'll tell you why I believe it is that. I could start with our Ofsted report, but that was a while back. So our last Ofsted inspection was in 2017, which we were judged as good in, in all, all categories. But since then we've come a long way and I, I truly believe that the school is now fantastic uh, and it's fantastic because of our aspirations, the curriculum that we offer which is very broad and very balanced, our inclusivity, any child who comes to Patchen High School will finish their journey with us, um, our pastoral care that we put in, so the support wellbeing that we put into uh, children every single day here is, is phenomenal and our school culture. Uh, our culture is a, a culture of kindness, a culture of caring, and a, a culture where every person feels that they belong to part of the uh, Patchen High School team. Our students are happy. I think it's very important that students are happy. If you're not happy, you don't learn. Um, and so we make a point of making sure that students are happy when they come in. We're, as I said, very kind and we're very caring. And we talk about that. We talk about that not just among staff, but among students as well. Only the other week I was delivering assemblies and I was talking about the importance of everyone being kind and caring to each other and how that was the essence of a really effective team. We're respectful and respect works both ways. We respect the children and they respect us in return. And it's a very much a two-way process and students would expect uh, respect on a, a number of levels and that's what they'll get and um, they give us that back in return. But we also have very creative students here. Creative in a number of ways, creative in the arts, creative in uh, all academic subjects they study, and creative in, in, in much of their thoughts and much of the things that they're involved in. And we're particularly proud of some of our new student voice groups that have got together and some of the creative ideas that have come out of them. Hopefully, you've had a chat, chance to speak to some of them tonight. And finally, our students are confident. Um, I believe, as, as do all the staff here, that when you leave school, it's important that you can advocate for yourself, it's important that you can stand up and speak to people people that perhaps you don't know, adults that you've probably never come across before, and holding your own is really important. So we encourage students through coming up here, maybe talking like our head students have tonight, or maybe performing like the, the students here tonight have performed, or maybe you know, being out on the sports pitch and doing likewise. But all these things we're trying to do to encourage students to be confident so they can advocate. And the reason that the students are like they are is because of the amount of work that goes in from our teachers. We're very lucky at Patchen High School that we have a fantastic set of teachers. My background is a teaching background, which might seem a strange thing for me to say as a head teacher, because you might assume that that's what all head teachers do, but actually you can come in uh, to head teaching from a number of angles and a number of kind of groups within the school. But my 
uh, groups are firmly uh, in, in embedded in the classroom. I still teach now, so if you, your child comes in here, they may well get me to teach them geography in year seven. I teach three year groups now. Um, and it's part of my, my, my daily life because I think it's the key to making the success uh, that we require from, from everyone at school. The teachers are, are very inspirational. They're very ambitious. They've got a can-do attitude. They've got total belief in our students, and that's something, again, that I reinforce. The heads of year reinforce, and tutors reinforce every day. And I'll sometimes stop children in the, in the corridor just to tell them how much belief I have in them. And our um, teachers want to be here. So if I put out a job advert, uh, we're never sure of people wanting to apply to Patchman High School. And that's because they know they've got lots of creative professional opportunities and lots of opportunities to develop as, as teachers. And, and dare I say it, you know, um, one team, one dream, which basically is our, our ethos. And uh, it's about pulling together and working together as a team, supporting each other, challenging each other, and making sure that we do the very best that we can. We're passionate about education. We resent relentless in our pursuit of, of improved standards and outcomes, but we also um, want school to be a happy place and we want to be a place uh, of fun. So every day uh, I come into work and of course there's serious things I have to do, but there's also a lot of fun at school and uh, teachers have fun, students have fun, and I just wanted to share a bit of fun that I had, or I have had, just going around some of the classrooms, looking at some of the work the students have shared with me, uh, and we'll have a look at some of those now. So. I'm going to start with a maths problem I saw. It said a hat costs five pounds in the UK. The same hat in the USA costs eight dollars. The exchange rate is one pound equals one dollar forty cents. Where would it be cheaper to buy the hat from? And the student's response was taking the plane fare into camp the UK. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Okay. This was an excellent answer. This one I felt as well. The diagram shows a fair spinner. Which colour is the arrow least likely to land on? Well, that's obvious, isn't it? It's yellow. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> next one. Imagine you work for a travel agent. Describe a place you've been to and explain why it would be of interest to someone of a similar age. My mum and dad dragged drag me to my grandparents in Western Sydney <laughs> every year. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. <laughs> what are pronouns? People in favour of names. <laughs> What influences can encourage good sporting behaviour amongst young people? Scary people. <laughs> We've got a couple of them. If they don't want to teach, there's another job here by the them. They could do. So here we go. Are you teaching in line of fire again? What government, in what ways can the government make British industry more competitive worldwide? Put PE teachers in charge. <laughs> and the final one, probably my favourite one. In a church, what's the significance of an altar? God knows. <laughs> so, Patchen High School is, is, a, is, a, is a safe school, and that's important. I know as, as parents, you want to, the first thing uh, that you need to know is your, your children are safe, and they're safe when they come to Patchen. We've got a fantastic safeguarding team. Um, we make sure that we look after every single child who comes here, and that's my, my number one priority. And we also make sure that they feel welcome and they belong. At the start of every school day, there's members of staff at the front gate and the back gate there to greet them, check that they're okay, check that everything's good for the start of the school day. Uh, and from there on in, we, 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 we act like that through, throughout the school day with students coming from. Uh, we're kind and we're caring. I know I've, I've talked about that several times, but I, I want to reiterate that. And I want to reiterate that because that lies at the very heart of the relationships that we have with students here. Uh, we spend time with students, we talk with students, we make sure that they're okay, and we develop these relationships, which means that we can maximise the students' potential. And when they leave here, they are getting the, they have had the very, very best that they could have had out of the opportunities that have been available to them. Um, we're aspirational, we're inspirational, and we're innovative. And I want to talk and give you some examples of, of how we are like that and what we do. Um, so this year we. Um, responded to, well, part of our response to the pandemic is to look at our curriculum, we've changed lots of things. But one thing we've added is an additional um, piece of sport for those students, uh, for all students in year 7 and 8, that's going to go all the way through to uh, eight, uh, 9, 10 and 11 in future years, and that's on top of their PE lessons, they also get an opportunity to elect a sport every term. So one sport they can specialise in, which they get an extra hour of each week, so it could be rugby, netball, um, table tennis, basketball, um, swimming, a number of things that they can do. They elect that sport 
and they stick with that for the term and off the back of that we encourage them to participate more fully outside of school as well so maybe grasp uh, some of our extra critical opportunities maybe take part in some of the teams that we are putting um, well we have lots of very successful teams at the moment in a range of sports so that's one example of something that we've done that's been quite innovative and creative um, another thing that's important is that we, we place art uh, at the heart of the curriculum we value it massively uh, and we make sure that students have access to a full range of arts whether it's the visual arts whether it's drama whether it's dance um, it's not um, my subject specialism but my wife is in the arts and uh, god forbid me if i, I, I reduced any uh, any of the arts on, on the curriculum so that is very much about what we're about here at patchen high school um, we have an extensive range of extracurricular activities uh, and the extracurricular activities, they're not just sport, they are the arts, as I said. As you've seen the students here um, tonight performing on stage. We do two productions every year. We do um, Christmas concerts, we do spring concerts. We make sure that we have teams, as I said, representing uh, our students in all sorts of uh, sports. We do after work, after school homework clubs, we have debating societies, we have student voice groups. So there's a range of extra quick activities and we're trying to make sure that every student who comes in does get themselves involved in extracurricular activities. We've got a great student voice. Uh, I'm particularly proud of the groups that have just started up um, and we've put a framework and a structure around some of the key issues that students want to address in school and the feedback that they've given us has been fed in towards me and to some of the senior leaders and we're changing things to make sure that students time here is better and improved from the feedback that they provide us with we have another reading we have a time every day where students will read that is a called dear time it's the middle of the day it's a 20 minute session uh, and it's for students to read from a book and the idea is that they not only develop a love of reading but it also helps them across all curriculum areas to to establish their reading skills. If we do have children who are struggling with reading, we've got an extensive uh, range of programs. One program in particular has been very successful called Thinking Reading at the moment, which you can find a bit more about up in the library or if you speak to our SENCO. Uh, and that's something that's at the heart of what we do at school. We've got new facilities, as you've seen, and they've been referenced several times. We're very proud of those. We're still ambitious to get even better ones. But for the time being, they're just finishing off uh, those fantastic things that you, you may have seen when you've wandered around tonight. We've got great GCSE results. Our GCSE results have been improving year on year. Uh, and even during the pandemic, the teacher assessed and the centre assessed grades that we submitted were, were uh, really reflective of the hard work that's gone in from all our students and all our staff. So 85% of the students achieved a grade four above in English. 80% of students achieved a grade four above in maths, and over 25% of all the grades that students achieved were um, at the high end, so either seven, eights, or nines, or in old school terms, A's and A stars. We also have our own dog. Okay, so we do have a school dog. I'm sorry he's not here tonight. Um, he's normally here, but he's had a very hard day. He's had a hard week actually, and he hasn't been used to being back in school. But now um, he will be back next week. He's called Ralph, he's very, very popular, he follows a school timetable, he sometimes comes into your classes, he sometimes works with individual students, and he's owned by one of our, or two of our teachers here, we take him home every night. So that is Ralph. So, I believe, uh, and I'll put my hand on my heart, that I believe this school is, is, is growing from strength to strength. Uh, hopefully that's something that will be reflected by the conversations that you have with students and, and teachers tonight. But it's a school that's got a very strong heart and it's doing very, very well and we are growing and growing and getting stronger and stronger. Ultimately what we're trying to achieve is we're trying to create great opportunities for all our students to become well-balanced 16-year-olds, ready to go into the wider world, to lead happy and fulfilling lives and to contribute positively and generously. We have got some open mornings next week. If you would like to see the school in action, and um, we're, not, we're not laying on anything particularly special, that doesn't mean that we're not, um, we're not, we're not we're, we don't want to lay on anything particularly special because we want to see what the school's like on a typical day. And so on Monday next week, and on Wednesday and on Friday, between 8.45 and 10.30, we're doing tours of the school. Everyone is welcome to come to those, and we will show you around, we'll take you into classrooms. You can see what's going on on a normal school day. 
and if you arrive at 8.30, we'll take you up to the library and we'll take a tour from there, and there'll be ample opportunity for you to ask any questions that you may have that haven't been answered tonight. So all that remains for me to say is, is please take the opportunity, I know there's not a great deal of time now, but um, in the last sort of 15 minutes, or half an hour, to take a, a look around the school, speak to our staff, speak to our students, uh, and we might just well be the hidden gem that you've been looking for. Have a great evening. Thank you.